Hello, and welcome to Create Your Best Sound. My name is Dr. Rachel Hockenberry, and I am here to teach you all how to make a sound and play the French horn. The French horn is such a wonderful instrument. It has a beautiful, majestic sound, and I can't wait to teach you guys how to start playing. This is the entire instrument, as you can see, but in this first video, we are just going to focus on making a sound on the mouthpiece. The mouthpiece is the part that actually touches your lips and helps you make a sound on the instrument. So the first thing you need to do before you can start playing the horn is to make a sound on this. So that's what we're going to talk about today. The first thing you need to know is how to properly shape your lips when you're playing the instrument. We call this your embouchure. It's a big fancy word, embouchure, but it's literally just the shape you put your lips in to make the right sound on your instrument. We can set this up in kind of a silly way. So what I'd like you to do first is pretend that you have just eaten something really delicious and you're gonna say, mmm, right? Say, mmm. Okay, as you can see, when you say mmm, these muscles on either side of your lips, which we call your corners, firm up. It's really important that you have nice firm corners when you're playing the instrument to help keep everything in place. Now we're gonna get really silly. So, you've said mmm because you've just eaten something really delicious You've got your firm corners, but it's important that we keep our lips able to move around. So, with your firm corners, I would like you to speak. You can say anything you would like. It's going to look just as ridiculous as I'm looking now, but say anything. You can say, Hello, my name is Rachel, or I can't believe Rachel is making us do this, right? You're speaking, but your corners are firm. Now, as we're doing these exercises, please make sure you have a mirror close by or that you pause the video to go check out what's happening in the mirror. It's really important that you're able to see what's happening. It's incredibly important that you know exactly what it looks like. So if you don't have a mirror in front of you, take the time to pause this video right here and practice those two things that we just did in front of a mirror. The next bit of this is gonna require the use of a mirror as well. Now we're actually going to place the mouthpiece on our lips. When you're placing the mouthpiece on your lips, it's really important that you get it exactly in the right place to make the best sound. As horn players, we use more of our upper lip than our lower lip. So you want your mouthpiece to be a little higher up on your upper lip. The mouthpiece has three parts. The top part, the part that actually touches your lips, is called the rim. The middle part is the cup. And the part that my fingers are on right now, here, is called the shank. When you hold the mouthpiece, you want to hold it on the shank and just with your thumb and index finger. You never want to palm it like this. It creates too much pressure against your lips. So just hold it with two fingers. Now, I'm going to give you one way to start placing it and then tell you how to figure out how to adjust it so that it fits your lips. The placement of the horn mouthpiece depends somewhat on the thinness or thickness of your lips. So we'll talk a little bit more about that as we get there. But what I'd like you to start with is make that basic embouchure face that we had before, right? Your mmm face. And then take the rim of the mouthpiece and put it right at the bottom of your lower lip, just like this. Then. With your lips closed, not clenched, but just closed like they would normally be, roll the mouthpiece up so that it's touching both lips, like this. 
go ahead and look in a mirror and give that a try. Now for me, because my lips are relatively thin, that works out pretty well. It gets it pretty much right in the correct place. Start at the bottom, roll up, and as you can see, you can't see any of my upper lip above the mouthpiece. In fact, the mouthpiece goes pretty significantly higher than my upper lip does. Now, if when you try this, you can still see your upper lip over top of the mouthpiece, if your lips are much thicker than mine, that is going to be the case for you, then you're going to need to move the mouthpiece up. So let's say that when you rolled the top of your mouthpiece was here. That's not gonna work out to play the horn, so you're gonna need to move it up. Try moving it up all the way to the top of your upper lip. Now, like I said, for a lot of players, the mouthpiece is going to be higher than the upper lip. It's only going to be if your lips are on the thicker side that it'll be just at the top of your upper lip, or maybe even a little lower, but you never want the lower end of the mouthpiece to go below the lower lip. It should always just be either right at the bottom or slightly higher if your lips are thicker. Okay, now that we've gotten all of that out of the way, we get to make a sound. So, if this is your first time ever trying to make a sound on the mouthpiece, I want you to think about blowing as hard as you can into this thing, okay? If it's not your first time, then you don't need to blow as hard as you can, right? But if this is your very first time, think about blowing as hard as you can, all right? Keep those corners firm, that's very important, okay? And keep your chin flat, right? My chin's not bunching up like this, it's very flat, okay? Flat chin, firm corners. I place my mouthpiece, I take a deep breath in through my mouth, always. When I breathe in, my upper lip stays attached to the mouthpiece. It never moves. Got my corners. I wet my rim a little bit with my tongue. Breathe in. And I make that nice, funny, buzzy sound with the mouthpiece. Try it with me once. Firm your corners, place your mouthpiece, deep breath in, okay. Now, I made that sound by keeping my corners firm, having a little hole between my lips that we call the aperture, it's a hole between our lips, and blowing my air pretty fast through the instrument. Now, if I just blow air through the mouthpiece with a loose face, it doesn't buzz, does it? It just makes the air sound. You need the buzzy sound to come out, which happens from the vibrations of our lips and the mouthpiece. So, your lips have to be close enough together for that to happen, and you have to be very firm here. Let's try it one more time. Firm your corners. Place your mouthpiece, deep breath in. For now, it doesn't matter what sound, high or low, comes out of your mouthpiece. You just want to get that really buzzy sound. If it's not coming out, look in the mirror, make sure your corners are staying firm, your chin is staying flat, and make sure your cheeks stay in. No monkey cheeks, right? My cheeks stay in and everything stays firm so I can make the sound. Now there's one more step we need to add before we're ready for your next video and the next part of this lesson. When we start notes on the French horn, or most wind instruments, we start the note with our tongue. We don't just blow air into it like I just showed you. We start with our tongue. Instead of this, it sounds like this. Right, a slight difference. So, to learn how to properly tongue the notes, start by saying these words. 
the tip of the tongue. Okay. Now, as I'm sure you noticed, when you say the sentence, the tip of the tongue, you use the tip of your tongue. Right? We use the tip of our tongue to tongue the notes into our instruments. Okay? Now, repeat after me. Two, two, two. That's the basic articulation, which is our fancy word for tongue. Okay? Instead of using our voice to say the words two, 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 we're just going to use our air. And it's going to sound like this. So try that once. Okay, now take everything that we have learned so far to make that buzzy sound and just add that tongue, okay? It's gonna sound like this. Okay, give that a try. One, two, three. Okay, again, right now, it doesn't matter high or low what sound is coming out. It just matters that it's that buzzy sound and that you're getting the tonguing. You should be able to feel the tongue, the tip of the tongue, hitting basically where the back of your top teeth meet your gums. Basically there, okay, around there. You should feel it going. If you're not feeling that, practice that motion again on its own where you're just saying tch, tch, tch. Then try that into the mouthpiece without worrying about whether or not you're making a sound. And then start to blow harder. Kitty agrees. Thank you so much for watching this first video. Once you're able to make the sound, you're ready to go on to video number two, which we're going to talk about how to properly hold the horn and how to place your hand inside the bell. I'll see you there. Thank you so much. If you have tried all of these different things that I've showed you today and you're still not able to make a sound on the mouthpiece, that is okay. I want you to check out my video, Mouthpiece Buzzing Part 2, okay? You only need to go to that video if you're still not able to make a sound on the mouthpiece. I'll show you some different things that you can try to get the sound out that you need. If you have made the buzzing sound on your mouthpiece, then you're ready to go on to my next lesson on posture, holding the horn, and right hand position. Only go to buzzing part two if you haven't been able to make the sound.